in this session we'll be seeing on data validation we would have heard the principle called gigo g i g o garbage in garbage out this principle says what is the input that you have taken that will be the output as a data analyst or as a research analyst or as a financial analyst we have to involve in number crunching but handling the data correctly from the source is very important immediately starting analysis with data is little bit suspicious for us whether the data is properly given as an input validating the accuracy clarity and details of data is very important to avoid the future defects when we create the big models so validating of data is very important without validating the data we would have taken the wrong decision there is a risk involved in that which results in imperfection of taking decisions and making a fall fa falsy or i can say the wrong way of building a model so verifying data inputs and its value is very important it is also necessary that you have to validate the data model itself collecting information analyzing data and presenting the data to the shareholders or the board of directors or the clients that we require that should be very very cautiously done if the data is inaccurate that may be resulting uh, a huge loss or the goodwill will go out right so the trust from the client will go out so as a data analyst or a financial analyst or a research analyst we have to be very crucial enough in determining the careful inputting the data so we have in excel option called data validation now normally in the uh, data validation here, here as an user we can uh, restrict the input with some rules right some rules is given as to a uh, specific rules can be given to your specific cells and you can start adding the conditions into into that right now in the excel from the excel tabs you can go to the data tab so in this above you have the data tab right so click the data tab and from the data tab go to data tools group so this is your data tools group so in this you can click the data validation right so this is your data validation you click the data validation you have the data validation dialog box opens right so in this you have the three tabs first is your settings then input message and error alert so we'll be getting into later while we uh, working with the problems right so in settings you have the validation criteria given below in this uh, validation criteria in this allow you have eight options given in the allow if i click this uh, this one you find a uh, whole number decimal list date time text length and customs so customs that user defined so we as a an user we can add uh, some additional conditions for a, a specific cells where the rule or restrictions can be given now we just work it with the sum of the examples that i have taken this is a very simple example so it becomes easy for us to understand first so we work with the first call whole number in this case uh, the whole number part so so here i'll take once again the uh, whole number right whole, whole number right in this uh, you have the data drop box list so when you talk about the uh, whole number it takes the integer number only that can be uh, positive or negative or zero so here it gives you the data where we can do the comparison comparison of the operators okay so here you have between not between equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or less than or equal to so this are the conditions we can test with the help of the numbers right so we do an example with first exercise right suppose we have the retail products right so these are the retail products i've just taken from the grocery uh, shop list right you have the sun, refined sunflower oil 1 liter kachikani mustard oil 1 liter ajwain seeds 100 grams almond 100 grams so here we'll be testing conditions right we'll be putting some uh, rules over here that the customer who enters the value in, into that the quantity requirement of quantity if he should not enter the value less than zero right if if that is the uh, case that we have to do that we we can 
do with the help of the data validation. Suppose I put negative 1, it will take negative 1. Okay, there is no negative 1 over here. So we have we can restrict by entering the value negative 1 into that. Right? You can take 0 also because there is no quantity, but it should not be less than 0. Right? So for that, we can do a condition into that okay? with the help of data validation. So first select the cell from E5 to E8, then go to data tab. In that come to data tools group, in that you select the data validation. So in this validation criteria come to allow, in that you select the uh, whole number, right? Select the whole number. Then it will be asking for the data drop list. In this, you have to select the greater than equal to. So it's uh, selected greater than equal to. And minimum, the criteria that you would be setting is zero. Okay, the value that should be entered should be uh, greater than equal to zero. So I just press okay. So now this condition is tested. Suppose I press uh, two quantities, uh, so two quantities of sunflower oil. Okay, so it will take. Suppose I press minus one, what will happen? It gives you an error message, right? Uh, this value does not match the data validation restrictions defined for this cells. So let re retry. So we can type one. It will take, right? Suppose I press uh, minus three and enter. Then it pops up with the error message, right? You can do the cancel. So this restrictions that you can do with the help of the whole number, right? So this is the first exercise that we have done. Then coming to the second exercises, uh, suppose you have the uh, in this in the first in the first year when you complete the uh, first semester of your MBA. In second semester, normally the professors will be uh, asking you to select the specialization. Right. So suppose we have the MBA specialization given over here, finance, HRM, marketing system, business analytics, logistics and supply chain, healthcare management, rural management, the list goes on, list goes on, right? So this is a limited list I have taken. Suppose there is a condition set by the professors that uh, the specialization should be the minimum specialization that student can take is two and maximum three, not more than three. So normally only one specialization they will be allocating you in the second year. But normally they give you the option of selecting the options of uh, the specialization course that you have to do. So maybe uh, suppose minimum specialization that a student can take is two and maximum three, not more than three, right? Not even one also, right? Suppose we have to set a uh, set condition for that. So what we will be doing it. So first thing come to this uh, table in this uh, you select the cells, right? So cells from uh, E17 to E20 right then come to data tab so in the data tab come to the data tools group so in the data tools group come to data validation so click the data validation tab so in this you have the settings tab in this allow let it be the uh, whole number right so here we can do the uh, condition is that we have to choose is between right so between two and three so I type uh, select the between and minimum is two courses that uh, two specialization that the student can take and maximum three specialization this is option given to the student then i press okay now in this case suppose rahul say uh, suppose he takes only uh, one specialization it gives you the it throws you the error right because the minimum value that the uh, student should enter for specialization is two right then retry press two it will take into consideration then you have the jitain right Suppose he selects three uh, specialization. Okay. Suppose Abhishek says that I want to take finance, HRM, marketing system and business. Suppose he uh, without intentionally or unintentionally, suppose he types of five as a specialization. So this will throw the error. So it will not intake. So this we can restrict these students from uh, entering the wrong data. So he definitely will be putting only two specialization or three. Suppose we have the four specialization taken by wrongly by Vaidya so for it will throw the error. So this type of restrictions can we can do that, right? So I put it as two. So this is the type of uh, restriction that we can do with the help of the between. The next coming to the next uh, exercise. So in this, uh, suppose we have uh, an condition set by the uh, professors, right? Suppose the candidate has to score at least 82.5 more than suppose he is getting more than 82.5 
then only he can go for a particular specialization right so in that case also we can set the condition right so this we have to select suppose uh, i'll be selecting the cell from e26 to e29 the go to data step okay in that you have the data tools group and we have the data validation right so it says that the selection contains some cells without data validation setting so do you want to extend the data i say no because already i have done the condition so we can do the clear all part okay if suppose here suppose the condition has been fixed suppose i want to add some more additional conditions for that if i click the data validation tab okay if you don't want the conditions to be done i just click clear all the condition will go off okay so this part can be done right so this is the uh, removing of your validation part so in this case we can select the cells from e26 to e29 then go to data step in the data tools group select the data validation and in this settings tab go to the decimal go to decimal right and the decimal should be uh, greater than so it should be greater than because it should be greater than 82.5 so uh, select greater than condition greater than then the minimum criteria which is given by us is greater than 82.5 so I type 82.5 82.5 right so when i click 82.5 the condition is set suppose rahul a student is getting a 70 a 70 percentage so 70.15 if i type that 70.15 uh, it will throw the error right it will throw the error this value does not match the data validation restrictions defined for the cell right so the value will not be taken right in similar way suppose jitain has got uh, above 80 percent not uh, suppose 81.19 it will throw the error so condition is set over here because the percentage criteria should be more than 82.5 suppose he is getting 92 the values inputted right then we have jitain suppose i put him as 87 it takes up right suppose abhishek uh, if i put 67 it will throw the error so this way you can restrict the entry of the data okay the inputting is be carefully can be given right so next come to the next example the third example is that suppose we have the final selection of list to be done okay the course of a uh, final specialization list so in this case we are getting into the list preparing the list of the list with the help of the data validation suppose uh, one by one if you're going to type the list suppose say that uh, it, it really becomes difficult for us if the students are very large you have just taken the examples of only uh, four students maybe you have uh, about various specialization about uh, say 200 to 500 students where you can't able to simply type it one by one right it becomes very difficult for us In, instead of that you can go for the data validation and you can go for the list option list as an option so in this case i uh, go for the cells selection uh, selecting the cells from e33 to e36 right then go to data step then data tool group and go to data validation tab right so data validation dialog box will open in this case you can select in the allo you select the list right now it will be asking the source the source you can type you can also type finance comma then hrm this also you can do or instead of that you can also select the uh, type in separate in any uh, other sheet okay not in a main sheet you can uh, type type the speci specialization in another sheet and you can select the uh, range right so here i am selecting the range over here so this is the range that uh, I have typed the uh, specialization courses for MBA. So then I press OK. Now in this case, suppose uh, Rahul has to select only. So ultimately, the final allocation of specialization only one uh, specialization will be allocated. Suppose Rahul is allocated, uh, say. So you have the drop down, right? So click and you can select the uh, list over, right? So click. This one suppose Rahul is given business analytics, right? And suppose then for Jitain. You can click click and suppose he's allocated the say uh, marketing as his specialization and for abhishek say he's been given the specialized final uh, final uh, allocation of this uh, specialization say uh, materials management and for vaidya he's been uh, 
allocated the finalists of finance is the specialization so it becomes easy for us while uh, working with the data validation as an analyst uh, we have to be very cautious in uh, getting the input data very carefully because it should not mess with the uh, bigger side okay so the small error will become the big error and the model will get crashed also